and thank you for coming back to my juice review channel for today's video we got a juicy vaping 360 article and this article is written by jim mcdonald published on october 11th 2018 man nearly dies after inhaling drip tip vapors often claim that vaping has never killed anyone but one british man came very close to putting an end to that talking point now he's going to start in a medical journey with what may be the weirdest vaping story ever Alan O'Brien inhaled his vape so hard that he sucked the drip tip into his mouth, through his throat, all the way down his trachea to the point where the windpipe meets the lung. Another centimeter and the 40-year-old man probably would have died. The, better shop the bedding shop employee from Warrington was able to breathe because the tip lodged in a position that allowed air to pass through the hole. If it had settled at the bottom of the trachea sideways, he might have suffocated or inhaled the tip all the way into his lung. O'Brien was working alone in the shop when the event occurred. I had two minutes before I had to start work, so I was thinking I was just trying to squeeze in a smoke, O'Brien told the Daily Mail. I think I'll play it safe for now and stick to the cigarettes. So this guy goes back to smoking cigarettes after inhaling a drip tip. I went at it a bit too, with too much gusto, and the mouthpiece came off and went straight down my throat, explained O'Brien. I was choking. I couldn't breathe. Panic set in, as you can imagine. O'Brien seems to have been using the Smock O-Sub 80-watt baby kit. Perhaps the tip of the TFV-8 baby beast, Addy, wasn't secured tightly or had a missing or damaged O-ring. But the vapor must have had his lips on the atomizer itself to allow the drip tip to fly off with enough velocity to fly through the throat and the windpipe. Not realizing the peril he was in, he called an ambulance and kept working while he waited. The drip tip caused a whistling sound when he breathed. He later found out that if his breathing had caused the plastic tip to slip into his lung, it, have it could have caused it to collapse, which would have killed him immediately. I didn't have another staff member coming in until half 12, O'Brien said. It seemed like an age but I couldn't breathe at all for about 10 to 15 seconds. I finally grabbed the breath and I tried to stick it out, but I could feel stuck. But then I was whistling as I was talking. I thought, I can't go on like this for long. It's ridiculous. O'Brien gave the staff permission to use the images from his procedure in a case report for a medical journal. Paramedics took the vapor to Warrington Hospital, where a CT scan showed the drip set was in the trachea on the edge of entering the lung. O'Brien was rushed by ambulance to the intensive care unit at Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital, about 15 miles away. Surgery was needed, but since the man had recently eaten, the procedure was postponed until the next morning. With the patient under general anesthesia, surgeons performed the bronoscopy and were able to remove the drip tip without making any incisions. I can joke about it now, but it was pretty scary, he told the Daily Mail. Initially, when I couldn't breathe, it was utter panic. O'Brien gave the staff permission to use the images from the procedure in a case report for a medical journey. The freak accident may be the first and last example of this particular vaping danger, but it scared the Warrington man away from vaping for good. I think I'll play it safe now and stick to cigarettes, O'Brien said. I guess I'm a lesson in how not to vape. This article was written and published by Jim McDonald. Jim McDonald's autobiography says, Smokers created vaping without any help in the tobacco industry or anti-smoke crusaders, and vapors have the right to keep innovating to help themselves. His goal is to provide clear, honest information about the challenging vaping faces from lawmakers, regulators, and brokers of disinformation. He recently joined the CASA board, but his opinions are not only CASA's and vice versa. You can find him on Twitter at YTRY. As always, my name is Johnny5. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Check the description box down below where you'll find the original article for this story. As always, Leave me some love in the comment box down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe in the corners and you ring the bell daily. Uploads one in the morning, one in the evening, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. You guys be good, be safe. Later, taters.